Good morning, everyone. My name is Debbie. I'm the VP of the User Experience Design Team in Lazada. Last week, we have learned many things together about User Experience Research 101. We have learned why are we doing research, different type of the design research that we have been doing, and also how do we do the design synthesis? How do we turn all this data into real insight? If you guys haven't watched the video, please join the Design You group by Lazada or follow me on LinkedIn, then you will be able to see all the previous video. Okay. So in today's video, we are going to learn something much more interesting. This is what we call as user needs. What exactly is user needs? When we are building a product or services, we hear many people say, right? We need to build a product or service that fulfill the user needs and wants. We need to understand our users, uh, step on their shoes using empathy and also solving their pinpoints, solving their challenges. But how do we exactly do that? So in today's video, we are going to learn more about user needs. Okay. Users are normal people like you, like me, normal people like us. Users have a different type of needs depending on the different stages of their life. They have physical needs, they have social needs, they have emotional needs, they have security needs, they have material needs, they have different kind of needs, you can name it. Okay? When we are building a product or services, we cannot just focus on one of their needs. Because if we are just focusing on the basic minimum requirements, we will just building a functional product. But this functional product will not fulfill any other needs that our users want. Okay, give you guys an example. Uh, we are Lazada, we are a marketplace, right? When we are trying to um, selling something online on the, on, the, on the digital marketplace, on the Lazada platform, we can sell anything and just fulfill the basic needs. For example, if we are building something like a household item, like a mug or a t-shirt, okay? If we are just fulfill their basic needs to, to help the users to drink or to help the users to wear something comfortable, we're just fulfilling their physical needs. And it's not some things that can differentiate us from any other competitors in the market. But if let's say we are building something small, we are not only fulfilling the basic, the functional needs, but we also fulfill the emotional needs. For example, if we put interesting design or unique messages on the brand itself, on the product that we created, then when the users, when our customers wear that or use that, they will fulfill these emotional needs. They will feel like I'm representing something. I'm actually, uh, having this clear message on the product that I use, okay? So we are fulfilling their other needs, which is actually the emotional needs. Now, another example. Um, if let's say the t-shirt or the product that we created is using the high quality materials, um, it is waterproof. It can protect us from the sun, from the rain, from the water, from the air pollution and so on. So now we are fulfilling another needs of our users so we are fulfilling their security needs okay so if you guys can see here that in the product or services that we are all created the more needs that we can fulfill the more valuable our product will be okay this is an example of the Lazada marketplace how if let's say we are building a digital product for example responsive website or mobile application it's the same if we are just focusing on the functional features, for example, to be able to shop online or to be able to choose and filter uh, the product online, then it will be the same with any other marketplace out there. But how if we, if, how if we fulfill another needs that they want? So how if we fulfill their uh, emotional needs? Like when I shop in Lazada, it makes my life much more convenient. It makes my life much more easy because right now I'm not only I'm not only buying things online, but I'm also a high tech person, something like that. Okay, so it can be any other need that you guys can think of. Okay, uh, this is an example of the business to consumer product. How if we building a product or services that it's focusing on the business to business? For example, if our users are internal employees or, or you know, um, clients or distributors or referrals, 
um, I will give you guys an example. For example, right now in the Lazada, I'm leading the logistic design and operation team. So for the logistic design itself, we have a different type of users. We have couriers, we have transport, we have riders, drivers. Um, we have a different type of the operators. Okay, and all of them they all have a different type of needs. If we are just fulfill their basic needs, for example, to be able to deliver orders every single day, right? This is their basic minimum requirements of their needs. We can do that, but it will not be meaningful for them. So we need to fulfill any other needs that, that our user wants. For example, we introduce like a protective mask for all of our uh, users, for all of our team. And then we also can introduce like contactless delivery. Contactless delivery can protect our customers, but also our couriers, our people to be able to to be able to more safe and more secure when they're delivering the parcel. And then we can also fulfill their basic needs, uh, their their self esteem needs. For example, if we put the clear messages on their job, on their uh, work. They are not only fulfilling these orders, but they are also fulfilling Lazada mission to be able to deliver parcels safe and securely. And whatever that they are doing right now is actually making an impact for the business, making an impact for the society. So now we are fulfilling their other niche, which is actually their self-esteem needs, their, uh, their social needs. They want to be able to contribute to the community, to the society. Okay, so if you guys can see here, as a designer, as a product people, every time we are building a product or services, the more needs that we can fulfill, the more features, the more benefit that is actually the like our users in the different stages of their needs, the more valuable our brand will be, the more valuable our product will be. Okay, so when we are building a product or services, we cannot just fulfill the basic minimum requirements, but we also have to think our users from different angles. And this is how we can differentiate, differentiate ourselves from any other competitors in the market. Okay, so user needs also is very important because when we're building a product or services, if we're just focusing on our product, without caring about user needs, about how do we solving their pain, solving their problems, and we are just focusing on our product, our users will not be able to use our product for the long term. Because when we are focusing too much on our product, we sometimes forgot about what the users really want. It cannot be something that is too complex. It can be something super simple. Okay, social needs, how we can uh, make the users feel like they are belong to something. Emotional needs, when the users using this product or services, how can they represent something much more meaningful. Functional needs, when the user use this product or services, can it actually helping the users to accomplish the goals. And there are so many other needs guys that you guys can think of. Security needs, when the users use this product or services, can they actually feeling safe, feeling secure, feeling that their information is actually on the good hand, okay? When they are actually put giving out their credit card or their payment, can actually, they, they feel like this is some things that uh, I can be sure of. So all of these kind of needs is extremely important for us as a product people. We need to learn about user needs more. And how do we learn about user needs? We need to learn user needs in all the stages of the user journey. It's not only in the beginning or in the end. We need to every time doing the product iteration, every time we are solving problem, every time we are uh, delivering re release or delivering new benefit, new features. We always have to learn more about the user needs, okay? So hopefully this video can can help you guys to understand more about user needs. If you guys have any question or want to learn more about user needs, please leave a comment below and then we will be happy to answer you guys more. Okay, see you guys. Bye-bye.